Stacks and stacks of paperwork. Oh my goodness. If you've ever bought a house, you know there is a whole lot of it. And it can take a long time to get through it all. All the signing and all that kind of stuff. So imagine the shock when a North Carolina homeowner found out that his $300,000 home was sold in a matter of days for $9,000 when it wasn't even for sale. It's a type of case that's popping up elsewhere around the state too. In this subdivision, there are no sale signs in sight. There were some guys at my house yesterday. But homes around here have been selling. They fraudulently think that they bought my house. Without the owners even knowing. They changed the lock and they also were working on two other houses. When we went to two of the homes now being investigated by police, no one came to the door. But just last month, Rahim Rupani, who lives in Atlanta, says a neighbor alerted him to unwanted visitors here. He said, there is two people get in your house and take your uh, house picture. Did you send someone for contractor? And I said, no, I didn't send nobody yet. Then came another shocking discovery. His vacation home, valued at more than 300 grand, sold for just $9,000, according to this police report. You've never sold this house? No, I never sold this house. Never, ever. The suspects broke into the house after forging his name on a quit claim deed, which he shared with us. You never signed that, right? I now. never signed those things. That's not my signature. The deed shows the new owner as Black Raven Irrevocable Trust. Rupani says in Initially, it even caused confusion for police. You know what owner is Black and Raven Trust Company. They are owner. I said, no, sir, I'm an owner. And it's strikingly similar to the deed for the other home, less than half a mile away. In both cases, Black Raven is listed as the new owner. The whole city should be concerned. But our defender's investigation found it's not only happening in this city. Just a short drive up I-77, the mayor of Davidson and his sister fell victim to a similar housing scam. No one should feel this way. Complete strangers moved into the family's $2 million estate. I felt so violated. According to court documents, Termaine Thorne and Takia Barber are members of the more Nation, a fringe organization that doesn't abide by local, state, or federal laws. Police say the pair got a fake deed, moved themselves in, and refused to leave. Everything was in disarray. Attorney Mark Gott says it can be a hardship for the real homeowner to undo the damage. After I record a bogus deed, the burden then transfers to the homeowner to try and prove that it's bogus. Rupani says police suspect whoever targeted his house may have planned to defraud a future renter too. Give them for rent to get the security deposit. So for now, he's armed with proof to show this is a real deed, I have it. Who truly owns the house. And police are still looking for the person or people behind Black Raven Irrevocable Trust.